so I was, um, it's a really complicated story. <laughs> so I was, I had gone down to the beach because I had broken up with a really stupid boy and, um, he was a sweet boy. He was just a hapless boy. I mean, he was just a goober. I mean, he wasn't stupid. Stupid's a little harsh. Just a, a sweet boy, not the right boy. And, um, I was down there by myself on a very adult, all by myself vacation. And my mother would call me on the phone every day. And my mother was this fabulous, fabulous woman. And, um, and for those of you who wonder where I got my personality, I'm now about to imitate my mom. But so my mom would go, hello, mama chick, call your baby chick, 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 like that. And that's why she would answer the phone. So I'd be, yes, mama chick, it's baby chick. And she'd go, she would just launch right into it. She goes, I hope that son of a bitch rots in hell. I hope he never finds another woman to love him as much in his life. I hope when he does fall in love again, he'll will always compare her to you. I hope he's miserable. <laughs> she was a great mom. She was really great. But she was saying completely the negative hopes. And I was walking the beach one day and I realized I loved all these, these hopes, but I wanted them to be positive hopes that you would have for someone. And then I was walking on the beach and I was completely by myself and I was looking out at the ocean and I was kind of weepy a little bit and feeling like a grain of sand and feeling inconsequential and maybe I should throw myself out and just be like shark's food because that's a, what you think of when, well, that's what I think of when I'm at the beach. <laughs> and, um, so, and right then this uh, big gigantic SUV pulls up. And it's on the beach up high, and this guy gets out, and he's got tinted sunglasses on, and he's got tinted windows on his car, and he's an all black, and he looks just like, like David Caruso in like, that CSI Miami show. And he's like yelling in a phone. And I remember whipping around being really upset. And I went, this guy doesn't feel small when he stands beside the ocean, and he never will. And the way I'm feeling right now is not that bad of a thing. It's a really good thing. You're supposed to feel small and inconsequential. And so the very first I hope that I ever thought of was I hope you still feel small when you stand beside the ocean. So it was that hope. And these other hopes led to themselves. They, they triggered things. And then there wasn't soon after that, that even while all that was going on in my brain, that I made my first trip out to the Rocky Mountains. And it was the first time I had seen those mountains, those freaky ass mountains. And um, <laughs> I, climbed, I climbed one of those peaks. And hence, I hope, you st I hope you never fear those mountains in the distance. And a number of lines like that, and that are never settle for the path of least resistance, all came from that trip. And so that really is what started it. And then the other thing is that I, as a songwriter, one of my other favorite things to do is to constantly be coming up with things that I have not done before. And one of the things that I hadn't done at that point was take a word and rhyme it with the word. <laughs> And of course, so like when you get the choice to sit it out or dance, I hope you dance. There's your rhyme, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and uh, nobody ever noticed that was the rhyme and it didn't seem to bother anybody. But it was like a really fun, fun challenge. And uh, so those are all the things that started I Hope You Dance.